Hey, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how it looks like to check your emails on your Onyx Books devices. I'll test the Gmail app and the Outlook app, so which I assume are the most commonly used ones. And uh, I tried to use the default, the built-in email app, but it just won't let me to log in. I don't know why. Google blocked it. So maybe some bugs, maybe on my device, maybe. I don't know. Let's start with the apps. So here are just the two apps I downloaded from the Google Play Store. So Gmail here. So if your app does not look like this, don't worry. So that might be because for both apps, you'd better to disable the by default on app optimization. So this one. So this is on, this is off. I recommend you to turn it off unless you know exactly what you're doing. Because Onyx Books set a, I don't know, certain DPI, especially this bleach setting, it will make a lot of buttons disappear. So um, yeah, if you know what those means, you can set it. And as you see here, it's very confusing. I'll try to make a video on that, but uh, right now you just switch it off, uh, both for both. Okay, so uh, Google, just for the clarity, let's try the normal mode first. Just give a full page refresh. So you can have your email here and you can read your email here. So probably uh, normal mode is not, a, not the best mode to read emails. Let's try fast, A2 mode, okay. Okay, looks better. So Dropbox, something like that. And uh, some digest. So it's perfectly readable. You can read full screen, something like this. Coffee. So reading your email is not that bad on this device. Let's try another uh, mode here. Let's try this speed mode. Yeah, not bad. I, I believe speed mode is better. So it's balanced the clarity and uh, refresh rate. Not bad. So let's try compose. So compose to so write an email. You can use uh, your pen. If you don't mind, you can use your keyboard, but uh, this is not good on your e-ink display to, to type on this kind of keyboard. You can write maybe test at test.com. Will it recognize? Wow, I'm impressed. Great title. Okay and uh, write whatever you want here. I don't think this Onyx recognition is that good for composing. Let me show you what I mean. I have to divide it into parts. So, uh, ignore the misrecognition. It doesn't give you those space, those white space between those writings. So it's really confusing. So for uh, input, I would highly, highly recommend you to use a Bluetooth keyboard. Let me show you here. So you hide the keyboard and you use, I already connected, I believe. Okay, okay, connected. So hide this, um, typing on a Bluetooth keyboard is much better when you compose your email on Notair. So yeah, this is really not bad at all. So if you type 
uh, fast and has have some you know typos or something, uh, maybe generally Google will catch that and you can make quick edits. So quick edit. Maybe that is too raw for them to to catch. Okay, yeah. So I hope to write something wrong. Go see. Right. So you don't need to figure around uh, the, your cursor to that because that is the most annoying thing when you edit text on e-ink displays. So that was Gmail. Let's have a look at Outlook. So have the same uh, email address set up here, and in a reader. And uh, let's try to compose an email here. Basically, uh, very similar. You had your subject, you had your tie something. Composing is relatively similar. Let's have a look at how, how you read emails. So can we do it like this? Yeah, it's not bad. And you can read full screen. Let's have a look if we could change it to a clear mode. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's cleaner when it's static, but it's not good when you scroll, right? So, uh, maybe speed mode. I, I think it's, it's all right to, to check your email, okay? Just digest some small text. Can we, I can zoom. So to sum up, checking your emails and composing emails on Note Air is really nice. If you have a Bluetooth keyboard, it's better. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.